Hello everybody and welcome back to Carvels from your homework today. We are heading up and then back down to Comb. Now, you may be thinking, where in the fucking world is Comb? Now Comb is the moon of Gateway. And Gateway is the biggest fucking gas giant in this game. In this mod and mod pack. It like almost the double of Jewel. And to get there we need a giant as fucking rocket just like this one but there's one little detail that is if you have a giant rocket it usually has a bunch of fucking parts and what does a bunch of parts give you it gives you kraken attacks so this rocket was looking tasteful and succulent for kraken and it really wanted to eat that rocket but I didn't let him. That was a few takes, but... Shh. You don't see them, so it may not be true. So I may be lying to you. Maybe this is my first try. It definitely isn't. But, yeah. So, while we are trying to orbit carefully, because, yeah, Kraken attacks, if you love Kerbal Space Program, if you love space, or you just like having fun and escape from the real world, Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, there we go. I let that fairing go through me because that fairing was causing a lot of problems. And I really didn't want it to, uh, to scrap off this mission, even though it was a really pain in the ass mission and it took, god forbid, a long fucking time. I guess this was the longest mission that I've ever done, ever playing Kerbal Space Program. It's for, it's for your viewing pleasure and it's for my having fun pleasure. I mean, I like challenges, I, but after they get way too hard and they take way too long, I'm like being like... No, just leave it, leave it, I don't care. So, still we have a giant ass fairing. We basically have one 5 meter part, I guess, and 6, uh, 3.5 meters, I can't really remember. But, hey, look at this. Look at this. The space center is perfectly visible from space. Possibly mainly because it is the only thing that is buildings complex like. So Kerbal Spirit doesn't have cities. I really hope Kerbal Spirit 2 is gonna get cities because it, let's face it, the planets look kind of empty. And I hope the alien worlds are also gonna have some cities around scattered all over the place. I mean, bruh, look at the fucking space no. Flight Limiter 2020. That game did an amazing job of making the entire world and every single fucking city together with every single fucked up building they may not be all right somebody's gonna be in the comments being like bruh no they have good to say shut the fuck up have you seen fucking cyberpunk 2017 yeah well then shut up so we have revealed what's in the fairing that i haven't revealed by now for, for now i don't know there we i can speak english but you already saw it from the title and thumbnail so yeah so, we say bye to Ruth and hey, Lou is also there. We're gonna say bye to Lou as well and say hi to Gateway. Beautiful planet, beautiful texture, beautiful everything. And we're gonna land a comb with a space plane. Why I say space plane? Because really just landing and then getting up from there is pretty fucking boring. I mean, yeah, kind of. Uh, but also, apparently, comb has oxygen, so those engines should work in there because they need oxygen to combust the fuel. So yeah, I hope it's gonna work. Spoiler alert: it did. Shut the fuck up. So, but there is a big ass problem here now. I had a 
big ass trouble making the correct orbit around this and landing on home without spending a few hundred stages of fuel so what I did is did a bunch of maneuver notes that will give me gravity assists and gain literally fucking nothing <laughs> motorcycles okay it gave me a few si a few things but yeah a few bit of, a little bit of energy but then I just had to waste the entire thing I basically entered the gateway orbit from the wrong way around again and that was a bad thing because mm, I couldn't really land on that thing also when both the moon and the plane going together is like isn't good safe enough speed to land because well let's f say that it's gonna get mildly hot mildly I mean we're gonna see what it does later on so uh, my camera may or may not have been turned off so I don't know about that so we fixed our um, orbit while well, I was rambling out everything and anything and we are gonna come and slowly capture ourselves around home and we did it already so I was trying to save fuel but there is a whole stage with fuel mainly because that engine is crazy fucking efficient so yeah uh, I have a lot of a lot more fuel like really a lot and hey we didn't use it so it just went to nowhere apparently just orbiting a space being useless to anything and anyone maybe someday you can go and see it and say hi how are you doing and he probably that stage is gonna be like full almost but yeah whatever so here comes the descent now what is that thing it is a base it is a science base which I put up into orbit so I can get down get all the science and then get it up and then uh, wait research it up in orbit because really bringing the entire science base down and then up again is pain in the ass also it looks really fucking ugly and I really don't want to do it again so yeah Hey, that's what I was talking about when I said mildly hot. I mean, if if imagine you're in that space plane, you open the window, you stick your hand out, and you be like, "Oh, well, I'm dead because I was instantly fried, and the entire crew behind me is dead because they were also instantly fried." Oh well. That that was awkward, so yeah. Life is good, life is good, life is beautiful. So yeah. We already went through the rent entry phase is we didn't re-enter, we entered. And look at those clouds. It's a ring around the equator and they're moving faster than I do. At those bits I was moving definitely moving above uh, Mac 1 which yeah it differs from planet to planet and how dense is the thing blah, 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 whatever but I'm pretty fucking sure that those clouds are moving at supersonic speeds now what that means if Kerbal Space Program had wind we would have a great deal of trouble because Supersonic winds, bruh, what the fuck? Do we even fucking lift, bruh? Damn. So, I went I, I went the opposite way around because there was an ocean back there. Which 
seemed kind of stupid at the time. I don't know why I did that. I, I just wasted a bunch of fuel. But later on you're gonna see that it was actually pretty fucking helpful. Hey, but why are you... Okay, no. So. Hey. We're going towards the ocean. And we wasted a one third of our fuel all fucking ready. Well, that's not good, is it? We need that fuel to get up into orbit. Mm, yeah, but also, yeah, mm, I don't know. Hey, there we go. Also, I love oceans because they look so cool with the scatter shader. Oceans are act actually oceans instead of flat water like texture, which looks absolutely terrible. But there is a there is a bug glitch. I don't know what the fuck. That at certain angle of the camera, it just kept disappearing. The entire time, I was like, wait, 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 where am I? But yeah. So I hit my wing. I exploded. Thankfully, I exploded only a. RCS block, but then I hit my front way too hard and I exploded the entire front gear, which meant I had almost zero chance of getting up from here. So mm, that isn't good, is it? Also, it was like tinted like this, tilted. So yeah, that was awkward, but. Thank God the uh, auto struct is helping me. So, yeah, we're we're pretty much done on the ground, and I I don't know if you realize, but if you didn't realize, damn, you're fucking blind. There's a giant crashed fucking spacecraft. I knew that those existed, but I never really thought that I could get one when. It at my first try, so I was like, "Bruh, that thing is giant." It actually is pretty fucking big, so yeah. So a few pictures, a few science. It took uh, quite a bit of time. Also, let's. I'm gonna mention that before I went to this phase, the game crashed a few times now. So yeah, my, also my recording software was like all over the place, so it wanted kind of to record the desktop instead of the game. It was a pain in my asshole, and yeah, so that was pretty bad. But yeah, so we actually did get a lot of science. We're just gonna get some... also yeah. I unequipped the... took off the helmet of the Kerbal and indeed they could breathe. Indeed this is a safe planet, moon, shut the fuck up, to land on. So now, everything was done, everything was alright, except the pa parachute repacks. Everything was good to go, unless, uh, until I had to take off again. So now, this is the part where everything got fucked up, because, yeah, I my, my recording software wasn't recording the sound properly, and the game crashed again, and again, and again. That took a, quite a long time, but then I remembered I can go... there's an ocean there. I can take off from the ocean because the ocean is fairly flat. So I should have enough speed. I should have enough time to speed up. Also, look at... Hey, it has a... look at the... look at the giant uh, crash. It also has an interior, so... That's pretty cool. So, yeah. What was I talking about again? Ford ship? No, oh, I don't know. I, I, I figured out that I could use the ocean to basically get up into orbit. But yeah, 
Also, do you think that it is safe to skid on your nose for the floor of your cockpit on the ground? Yeah, well, me neither. But yeah, ocean. When I got in the ocean, I was like, oh, scatter adds waves that are now interactable. Ooh, okay, well. That's, that, that's a trouble, but yeah, got some more science from the ocean of comb, which apparently is water, which is good, I mean, I don't know if it's salt or not, it really doesn't look salty, it looks very fucking clear, but yeah, now look at the sunsets, red fucking sunrise, sunsets and sunrises, that thing looks beautiful, everything looks beautiful, Look at the sun sunrise. I mean, you can't really see it. It's like a pinkish, reddish thing. Still, it looks good. It looks absolutely magnificent. But yeah. Hey, look at this. And look at Gateway in the background. I turned around the Gateway was like there. And it looks fucking massive. Obviously. So, now, what only left was get up, dock with the space base and get back to roll now I've done this uh, uh, a few times where I just dive under the water and then use the water to lift me up again and jump over the water full the trust maximize the trust with full trust I could just leave off so it worked again also those engineers are really fucking powerful that they got me way really up into space. It was really enough to bring me up and above the atmosphere. So yeah, that's good. But I really didn't have enough fuel to reach orbit, which I had to refuel again. With, not with oxidizer, but with a liquid fuel. I wasted that fuel going towards the ocean, so if I didn't waste that fuel going towards the ocean and I landed immediately, I wouldn't have to cheat. But that was my first time cheating and there's gonna be some more cheating in this video, because god almighty I just don't like my ass getting fucked that much. It hurts man, that shit hurts. So yeah, random viewing, making maneuver notes. Everything looks good, everything looks beautiful, everything looks nice. And with both the suns just lifting up of the horizon. Ah, magnificent. Magnificent. So now we are towards the rendezvous. It it took it took a while to rendezvous with the craft. But I did it nonetheless. I mean, I'm gonna cut all of that part because... Boring, and we're already 18 minutes into the video, and this is a quite a long video. It could have gone even longer, but yeah, it didn't, because reasons. So yeah, I got towards it, and I tried to... Do there's a docking port at the top of that thing, and on the space plane there's also another docking port. But here is my brain that doesn't work. Those two docking ports are different sizes. So they didn't really add up to each other. They didn't really want to dock. Which was... Bra moment. So I just straight up wanted to... I straight up wanted to go to... Roll. But that also took a while. The game crashed a few more times, and I was way too sick to do anything, so I just straight up go get to hyper and I was like, yeah bro, just land. Yeah, there we go. I also did the same with the plane, because, again, it took way too long. I mean, that's the end of the video. <laughs> yeah. we, get, we got a few, a lot of, a, a decent amount of signs, even though we're cheating. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to home with no cheating, so yeah, we're gonna be fine with that. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, punch the love button, punch subscribe if you're new, and as always, I hope to see you next week. Until then, have 
I know some week.